back to the channel, Charlie Bravo here. So today we're gonna finish up the project that we started a couple of weeks ago. Uh, and this is a, it, it's our Kydex holster project for an M&P 45 with a light, a TLR1 HL. And it has a threaded barrel as well as suppressor height sights. Now, this is the finished product. This is completely done here got the belt loop on the back we have uh, te our tension points here as you can see we actually have some pretty decent retention I I can get it out of there but it stays pretty decent okay uh, really that's because of these tension points um, the, the problem with light bearing holsters is you have to make them large enough <clears throat> that you can get the light uh, you know the handgun with the light on it in there it has to be able to reliably, reliably be able to, you know, holster that that handgun. You have to be able to cover your trigger guard, uh, the trigger area completely, so you can't get anything in there. And you end up with sometimes just a giant plastic pocket uh, with no retention at all. So the fact that I was able to get a little retention on this makes me pretty happy. And I really think that on this handgun particularly, uh, it is because of these these tension points. Now I have made another. Uh, holster for a uh, light bearing gun and uh, that was for an APL which is possibly for holster making is the, probably the friendliest light out there because it's just so streamlined uh, that it, it really was fairly easy to still get some re good retention without uh, without it being just a giant pocket now I'm completed with this and I did make video of it but I had a slight problem um, pretty big hiccup in the fact that that was all on my phone my phone has since uh, pretty much crapped out on me, so um, I don't have any video of all the stuff and all the steps that I did doing this, so I can't show you that for this. However, I have a nearly identical project uh, right here. Okay, this is uh, this is not it's not an M&P 45. It's for an M&P. I believe it's a nine or a 40. It's that size anyway. Um, also a TLR1 light. It is also for threaded barrel. I don't think it has suppressor height sights, but this should cover that even if it if it isn't. They're not quite as wide as uh, it's not quite as wide of a sight channel as this one has, but it's still uh, pretty tall. So essentially, this is the same project but in reverse because this one is for left-handed. So our belt mounting point is going to be on this side so that we can mount it to our uh, for a left-handed shooter. Uh, they also wanted to be able to, you know, if possible, to put it inside the waistband. So we have a little blocking point here, so we can just put a little uh, belt clip, you know, an over the belt type clip for inside the waistband. I also tried my best to make it uh, as streamlined as possible. Uh, you can see where my my blocking for my light is pretty bulky right there because I want to have a lot of room uh, for this inside the waistband. It's pretty streamlined. What that means is it's going to be a little bit more difficult to reholster, but it'll be a lot more comfortable inside the waistband. So uh, I'm going to show you how all this stuff, I'm going to show it on this holster, but obviously this is the project that we were working on. So uh, come out to the garage and we'll check it out and we're going to get this thing finished up. Essentially the same steps because this is going to be pretty much an identical holster, just in reverse. All right, so we've got our drill guide in place. I have a half inch block of wood in here. It's just scrap that I had from uh, making my pattern for, for my tension points. So I've got it clamped in there. That way, when I'm, when I'm drilling through, hopefully everything kind of stays aligned and stays straight. But I'm actually only gonna be putting screws and holes in here uh, every inch and a half. So there's gonna be one here, here, and here. That'll be my three tension points. Um, after that, I'm gonna get my uh, my rubber spacers, half inch rubber spacers, actually there's going to be two quarter inch ones, but in, in those three spots as well, uh, just keep everything lined up. And then I have a pattern drawn on here and I'm going to get on my scroll saw and I'm going to cut out uh, the holster that pattern. After that, we're going to put on the sander, get everything sanded smooth, get everything cleaned up. Uh, any spots that we have to use a Dremel tool to sand it, we're going to do that. And then we're going to put on the polisher, which you can see right behind me there.
So we have our rough cut, okay? So this is just a, a very rough of what it's gonna be. Now we're gonna get on the belt sander, we're gonna get sanded up, and then we're gonna polish it up, and then we're gonna make our belt attachments. Okay, so I didn't record this part, but I just used the drill again. I used my drill guide again, actually, just so I could get everything, you know, some straight lines. But we have six holes, okay? So uh, that's gonna allow us, it's gonna have to, the belt loop's gonna have to connect to at least four of these, but that'll allow you to put it a little bit higher, or you can move it down a little bit lower. So that'll give you a little bit of a height adjustment, so where it's gonna be located in relation to your belt line. Now we just gotta put some holes over here. Again, we're gonna use our drill guide uh, just to make sure that we get those in a decent spot. And then we're gonna add our foamy clip and make sure those holes line up. So all of those steps, it's essentially the same as what I did for making this holster here. Uh, the only difference being that I was making that one for uh, inside the waistband or outside the waistband. And it has a little bit of a cant to uh, the belt loops and it's left hand, it's uh, left handed. Um, but other than that, it's uh, essentially the same steps. And this is that holster right here. So uh, if you check these out, they kind of have a very similar appearance to them because they are essentially the same style of holster there. So uh, as you can see though, we got again, some really good retention here. Uh, actually, I think this retention is better uh, than on the other holster. Uh, maybe I just have uh, the tensioning points. Maybe they're a little bit tighter, I'm not sure. But uh, it seems to be working pretty good. Uh, the inside the waistband, uh, this wouldn't really work for me. You know, I'm a bigger bellied guy. So uh, inside the waistband with a full size, that's going to be tough. But you know what? Uh, that's what uh, the, the person who I'm making this for, that's what they wanted. So that's what I definitely did here. Uh, the way this is set up, it actually uh, should, in theory, it's actually going to pull the butt of the gun uh, a little bit closer to your body maybe reduce that printing a little bit. Uh, hopefully that will work out. I don't know for sure, but uh, that was what my design, my hope was, was that the, the way the clip is on here, that I'll actually pull the belt or the uh, butt of the gun a little bit closer to your body. So uh, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today and I hope you guys got something out of it. I hope you guys can learn from my mistakes uh, when I make them. Uh, I think I did pretty good today. I didn't have uh, too many hiccups here and there, but uh, I had to make the belt loop twice. That's the only thing that I had a problem with. Uh, when I was drilling my screw holes, uh, I messed it up. I didn't get them lined up right. And I, I was really, when I was doing it, I was like, you know, I don't, I'm not sure if this is going to work out. I shouldn't have second guessed that. I should have just uh, stopped, figured out a better way to do it. But I came up with a different method. Uh, basically what I did is I found some clear plastic, some really thin clear plastic. Uh, so that I could line up those holes and see through and see where the holes were on the holster itself so that I, then I could transfer that over to uh, my belt loop. So uh, just uh, that's another tip that uh, I learned today. Uh, another thing that uh, might make it a little bit easier for you guys in the future. That's if you're doing this kind of, uh, this kind of holster, uh, especially if it's got a cant to it. That's the reason why I was having a little bit of problems because I couldn't use my normal uh, markings and, and things like that. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. If you did, it is always appreciated when you like and share the videos. And if you're not a subscriber, if you want to see more videos like this one or videos dealing with Second Amendment rights, uh, guns, gear, reviews, things like that, uh, find that subscribe button. It's right down below. Put your crosshairs on it. Pull the trigger on your mouse. And then come back next time for another video. And remember, your mind, that is your most important weapon. And it's vital to be armed with information. Until next time, take care and be safe. Charlie Bravo out.